Hello and welcome to tutorial 41. Um, today I'm going to be recreating some of the sounds used by Tamita, the Japanese synth player, on his, uh, what I think is a groundbreaking album, uh, recorded in 1974, a Grammy award winning album called Snowflakes Are Dancing, the new sound of Debussy. Um, and um, on here, there's been several, several tracks uh, which are all Debussy compositions and all involve the um, Moog synthesizer, which, like Walter Carlos, he had a large modular Moog and recorded each sound separately and then mixed them all together. Um, and um, it took him over 14 months to complete the album. But in the next few minutes, I'm going to be showing you some of the sounds from the Debussy tune called Passepier from um, Debussy's Sweet Burger Mask. So Passepier is the tune, and it starts, as you can see, with a little ostinato figure, and I'll show you how I got that sound. Uh, the sound of the ostinato figure goes like this. Um, and I'll show you how we got that sound. So um, go back to the initial setting. And yes, let's have a look. We've got oscillator one, just one oscillator on here on a pulse wave. And that pulse wave is at an eight foot pitch. And instead of it being a 50% pulse width, pulse wave, should I say, it's 49%. Now you might think, not think there's a lot of difference there, but um, rather than the 50% pulse wave, which is essentially square, has emphasizing all the odd harmonics in the harmonic series. This just adds a few of uh, some other harmonics in as well. And we're gonna basically use that waveform and filter it. So we go over to the filter section. And we're using a low pass 24 dB per octave filter, cut off 76. There we are. Uh, resonance, 26. We're also going to apply some filter envelope to that sound, and the amount is plus 12. Now you can hear a much more percussive effect there. Um, we just need to tweak the filter envelope a little bit. Attack time, 0, decay time, 50. Uh, sustain, zero, release, 21. And now the amplifier envelope. Um, attack time, zero, decay, 57. Uh, sustain, 25. So it's dropping down to a level of 25, which is kind of a quarter of the way down the knob, if you like and uh, release zero. So the release gives it a, um, a zero release, gives it a slightly more percussive character. Um, and velocity is zero on there. We don't need any uh, of the effects, but that gives us our sound. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next sound. Okay, and the next sound is the uh, the the melody line sound, and it's kind of like a flute. Oops. And the next sound is a melody sound, and it's a little bit like a flute, but with an added extra bit, and I'll show you the extra bit in a minute. Okay, and um, we look at... Um, uh, an initial setting, first of all. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to set up um, the first oscillator on an eight foot triangle waveform. It's a fairly pure waveform, um, but it does have some slightly odd harmonics in there, which are reminiscent of a square wave, but less bright. So that's our sound there. We're also going to set up um, a little bit of wobble on that sound using LFO1, speed 50 and 
depth um, 0, 06. That just gives a slight wobble to oscillator 1. Um, and um, we now go over to the filter section and we've got a low pass filter 24 dB per octave cut off 78 so it's making the sound a bit mellower um, zero resonance key track 89 and we'll set up the, uh, the filter envelope there's a percussive, slightly percussive quality to the sound as well um, we're going to put in uh, an amount, filter amount of 25 and then adjust the envelope of the filter. So attack 0, decay 50, um, sustain 53 and release 25. Now uh, we also need a bit of amplify envelope in there as well. The velocity is at zero. The attack time, which gives us the fade in sound, is 49. That's it, so we're getting the fade in sound, but also decay here 51, sustained level 32. So it gives a, a kind of a shape to the, um, the amplifier, uh, uh, amplitude of the sound like a little bit of a rise and a fall release 29 now that would be absolutely fine for the sound if you could play it um, would be fine but there's an extra sound in there which is all set up for oscillator 2 so going back to oscillator 2 we'll click it in here um, and this involves um, a two foot, so quite high up, sine wave. We must remember to put the frequency modulation by oscillator one down to zero and get a pure sine wave. We're actually going to back off the volume of that to 83. Now we can hear the sound coming in there, but there's a rise to the pitch of the sound which we're going to achieve with LFO2. And we need to apply a ramp setting to oscillator 2 and it will only go on oscillator 2 and 3 there we are like that but we don't need oscillator 3 anyway so the ramp speed is 40 uh, and the depth is 43 and you can hear the sound of oscillator 2 rising up there, and that's the completed sound. And the third sound that we're going to look at is the brass type sound. It's quite a mellow sound, which is a bit more like French horns, really. Uh, but it's not an exact representation of French horns, it's a synth kind of thing, so... And the way I got that sound was, um, we'll go back to the initial setting. Oscillators one, two, and three are in, on an eight foot pitch and they're all sawtooth. So that makes that bit easy. Um, and yeah, sorry, it's a 16 foot pitch. That's better. Um, no, that sounds quite, um, um, sort of reedy if you like, but uh, we need to make it sound brassy. Um, we're going to use, this time, instead of a low pass filter, a band pass filter. And the band pass is 24 dB per octave. Let's hear what that sounds like. The cutoff is 61, so it's around about... It's cutting off some of the frequencies around the notes that we're playing. Um, but we also need um, key track 64, no resonance there. We need a little bit of filter envelope to make it sound a bit brassier. So the amount of the filter envelope is plus six. Attack time 51, which is gonna give us that little, 
slightly brassy effect. Decay 75. Uh, sustain 70. There we are. Release 59. So the why we're doing a release on the filter is we've also got some release time on the um, amplifier envelope as well. So it just kind of ties in with that. So 56 on the release there. 36 sustain here. 74 decay. And attack time 48. So again, it's emphasizing the fading in quality. Now we also want to detune those oscillators a little bit. In fact, let's put them in and find out what happens. So a slight amount of detune on both of these oscillators, around about minus six and plus six, that, that kind of region. And then we need a bit of um, delay on the sound as well. So rather than reverb, we're gonna use delay. Delay time of 54 to get that kind of slap back. And level 63. And that's our brass sound. And towards the end of the track, you're going to hear a kind of a harpsichord, a uh, broken chord kind of idea, which kind of goes like this. So I'll show you how I got that sound. And we'll go to an initial setting. Okay, um, oscillator one. We've, we've actually done a harpsichord sound before um, on a Beatles track. Uh, several sort of tutorials ago um, uh, and it's a little bit based on that one but we'll we'll go from the basics uh, we need a 16 foot pitch on um, not the pulse waveform but the wavetable we need wavetable uh, number 37 <laughs> There we are, lots of harmonics in there. Uh, we need the actual wave from the wavetable at plus five, sorry, zero, zero, 005, which is five out of um, 64 uh, waves that are available on there. There are 66 wavetables and, um, and different uh, values of the actual wave there. So it's number five that we're wanting. Uh, we want oscillator two, we'll click that in to be on an eight foot pitch. And this time we're gonna use the pulse waveform. Let's hear that pulse waveform uh, on its own. Pulse wave zero, zero, 006. It's a very thin, reedy sort of sound. We're gonna use a detune of minus eight, but when that's mixed in with oscillator one, that's our composite sound. And already it sounds a little bit like the harpsichord sound that we're going to be using. Uh, we'll need to alter the filter. It's a low pass filter of 12 dB per octave. The 12 dB setting um, um, gives us a little bit of a brighter sound than the um, than the more mellow, if you like, uh, 24 dB one. So the cutoff is 80. There we are. Uh, resonance 18. Uh, key track 108. Yeah. And um, the filter envelope amount, 27. As you can hear, that's given us a bright attack to the sound. Um, attack is 0, decay 77. Uh, sustain 0, release 75. Um, and the amplifier envelope, um, 0 velocity. Um, attack time zero, decay 78, sustain level zero, and release 70. Also need a little bit of reverb in there, reverb time 36, and level 63. 
So that's our um, harpsichord type sound. And we'll add all those to the track and do the final mix.